take you actually through a, an actual customer case study uh, where um, you can see this uh, play out in a customer environment. So this first slide here, um, by the way, these charts are from a, um, a completely free complimentary no obligation compute savings analysis that we perform for customers. So um, if, if you're wondering what your, what your effective savings rate is or uh, how much more Prosper Ops could save in your environment or decrease your commitment risk, uh, a compute savings plan, I'm sorry, a compute uh, savings analysis will uh, we'll reveal that information. So the charts I'm showing you here uh, are from uh, our compute savings analysis. And then I'm also gonna quickly take you into our dashboard so you can sort of see the results that this customer has seen since they've subscribed to our service. And so uh, this chart here represents their um, trailing 12 month compute spend by type. There's um, a few types here. Uh, the, the red on the bottom is on demand. So these are, um, this is usage that's uncovered with any sort of discount instrument. The large purple area are commitments that they've made uh, with uh, either uh, with our eyes in this case. Um, the green layer is spot. We haven't talked about spot, but spot is a very powerful um, uh, ability to save even more. And we're huge fans of spot, but it does have application of uh, risk and implications. Uh, but this customer was taking advantage of spot, which we're, we're huge fans of as well. And then there's a de minimis amount of Fargate on demand on top as well that's shown in yellow. So, uh, and you can see they've been consistently using these instruments for, for over a year now. So it's a, this was a relatively sophisticated uh, uh, B2B technology SaaS uh, in California, um, very mature engineering and cost optimization capability in the company and they were doing well. And so you look at this chart and you think that they, they, they uh, would be generating good savings outcomes, right? They should be generating good savings outcomes. We double click on that and we actually go and we, we calculate what are the actual savings that are being achieved. And so you can see that here in the green. And so their spend, uh, their monthly spend was roughly um, $350,000. And you can see here with the, com with the commit discounts, they were generating roughly $50,000 uh, this customer we evaluated in January of 2020. So uh, this analysis goes through the end of December. So you can see they're generating decent savings. Uh, the red bars there, we, what we also calculate are the lost or missed savings opportunities from, from um, instruments that aren't uh, fully utilized. Uh, and so this could be either um, commitments that aren't matching or uh, they could be commitments that are unutilized because usage has dropped. And so you can see uh, some red there as well, some inefficiency in the environment. But again, um, you know, at the end of the day, how much is the customer actually saving? And that's represented by the gold line, which is the effective savings rate. And you can see uh, that it was uh, about 14%. The trailing 90-day effective savings rate, uh, so the last three months, was, uh, was 14%. And so again, the average we see is, is about 10 and a half. So this customer is above average in that regard. Um, but you know, again, our service is gonna take the ESR to 40% and above. So there's still a significant amount of savings that is in effect guaranteed. Our service will unlock it um, if uh, our automation, our algorithms and our opinionated approaches are put into effect. And so you know, our savings analysis quantifies that and how much they can expect to achieve over what time frame. Uh, and so the customer uh, chose to move forward. Uh, one of the ways that um, the customer defines how our algorithm works, again, uh, customers are always in control, right? There's five knobs that customers set. Customers are always in control. Those knobs define the constraints of our, our, our automation and uh, you know how we go and, and deploy our opinionated uh, approach. So the customer is always in control. And this particular uh, framework here is how we help customers define that. And so you can see their historical compute usage shown in those dark purple bars. Uh, the red line represents their commitment overlaid on top. Uh, and the gray line represents their utilized commitment. So again, that gap, the gap between the gray and the red uh, is what was generating those red bars on the previous chart. So there was some inefficiency there. But you can see here, you know, this customer was was on the left hand side of um, 
the, the, the two approaches that I showed you where they're generally kind of conservative. They're sort of following the, uh, the usage trends uh, in a lagging fashion and, and leaving some buffer there for optimization and potential declines uh, in their usage. You can see from November to December, their usage dropped. From December to January, their usage dropped. And so generally you've got a hedge because those scenarios do happen. And in our model, again, you have two layers that you define base and flex. And so the green line here represents a conservative full term base commitment of compute savings plans. So the customer defined that base level. And then our service will automatically deploy flex from that base up to uh, wherever the compute usage um, is. And it will safely do that over time. Uh, and so as the usage goes down uh, or up, the flex layer will automatically be adjusted to fill in the difference. And so uh, what our algorithms are seeking to achieve is a 95% coverage rate with a 99% utilization rate uh, and ultimately maximizing what we call your effective discount, which is uh, all of the different uh, discounts that are achieved from the various types of uh, instruments that are deployed. And so if we fast forward now, and uh, we look six months into the future. Uh, in fact, uh, I'm going to take you to our dashboard and show you this versus just a slide. But uh, after six months, their savings have increased 287%. Uh, percent. <laughs>